All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 9 is equal to 0. So I want to find the value of x here. So I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. Now I have this minus 9, I can rewrite as 3 to the power of 2. So this is going to equal 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, x to the power of 2 times 2, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 3. So now I have x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 3. And this is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. And I have x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. So, I can first start with x squared plus 3 equals 0. So if x squared plus 3 equals 0, first subtract 3 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I'll be left with x squared is equal to negative 3. Now, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So now the square root of x squared is simply x. And... So I have x is equal to positive and negative squared negative 3. And the square root of negative 3, I can rewrite as the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 this is actually equal to the imaginary number i. So now I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 3i. So these are two solutions. Now for x squared minus 3 equals 0, I can add 3 on both sides. So I'll have x squared is equal to 3. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 3. The square root of x squared, that's going to equal x. So I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 3. So these are two more solutions. So all my solutions, all four of the solutions, are x equals square root of 3. x is equal to negative square root of 3 x is equal to square root of 3i, and finally, x is equal to negative square root of 3i. So these are my four solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to 27. So I want to find the value of x here. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite my 9 over here as 3 squared because 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 2. So now I'm going to have 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 27. Now if 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 2, then 27, this is equal to 9 times 3 meaning it's going to equal 3 to the power of 3. So I'm going to, now I'm going to rewrite 27 as 3 to the power of 3. So now I have 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, I have 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, and we can think of a as 3 because our base is going to be equal to a. So in this case, our base is 3. m is 2, and n, the outside exponent, is x. So now, we can write this as a to the power of m times n. So a is 3, so I have 3 to the power of 
m is 2 times n, which is x. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now 2 times x, that's obviously equal to 2x. So now I have 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then m is equal to n. So if the bases are the same, that means the exponents are equal to each other as well. So in this case, these two exponents are equal to each other, so 2x is equal to 3. So now to solve this, I'm going to start by dividing 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I'll be left with x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is my answer. So now to check, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to 27. x equals 3 over 2, so I have 9 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 27. And 9 to the power of 3 over 2, I can rewrite as the square root of 9 to the power of 3. So to solve this, I'm going to first find the square root, or sorry, I'm going to first find the value of 9 to the power of 3. So 9 to the power of 3, that's equal to 729. So now I have the square root of 729 is equal to 27, and the square root of 729 is simply equal to 27. So I have 27 is equal to 27, and because this is right, my solution is right. Alright, so in this problem, I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. And I want to find the value of x and y. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by simplifying x minus y squared. So x minus y squared, that's actually equal to x squared minus 2x plus y squared. So now, I'm going to subtract x squared on both sides. And this is just to cancel out the x squared to make this problem easier to solve. So then these two cancel out, and these two cancel out, and I'm left with negative y squared is equal to negative 2x plus y squared. So now, I'm going to subtract... 2y squared on both sides, or sorry, I'm just going to subtract y squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and negative y squared minus y squared is negative 2y squared. So I have negative 2y squared is equal to negative 2x. Now if I add 2x on both sides, these two cancel out, and I'm left with 2x minus 2y squared is equal to 0. Oh, sorry. At the start here, x squared minus 2x is actually 2x times y. So, it's actually 2xy. So, I have 2xy minus 2y squared is equal to 0. So, from here, I can simply factor out 2y. So, now I have 2y times x minus y is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations now. I have 2y is equal to 0, and I have x minus y is equal to 0. So for 2y equals 0, all I have to do is simply divide both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out, left with y is equal to 0. And for x minus y equals 0, if I add y on both sides, I get that x is equal to y. So now to check, I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. If y equals 0, then I have x squared is equal to x squared. So this is right. Now, let's try if x equals y. So if x equals y, then I can simply replace x with y. So now I have y squared minus y squared is equal to y minus y squared. Y, y squared minus y squared is 0. Y minus y is 0. 0 squared is 0. So I have 0 equals 0, so this is right as well. So both solutions are right.